on the shore of Lake Erie. We bring you our game from Cleveland Ohio. Well it's shaping up to be a great finish to the season. Many teams still vying for playoff spots. So thanks for joining us as the Steelers square off against the Browns. Let's see how it plays out today as we get set for the kickoff. Spielman looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Good distance. This one is taken by number 80. They'll Ball take on their own 20. The 20 yard line. First and 10. The Steelers with a four man front. With the throw. He hits his receiver. Dishman comes up to make the play at the 30-yard line. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. First Ball on 10. their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. Let's go now. The Steelers yeah, line up in a 4-3. You can't stop me. They give it to the halfback. Big hit on the ball carry. Morris runs it through the middle again of about six. Ball on their own 36. Ball on the 36 yard line. Stay both now. Come on. The Steelers with a four man front. Riggs with a man in motion. It's showtime, baby. Turn it up now. All day, baby. Come on. And off to the tailback. Number 96 is there on the stop. The running back finds his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with the blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge. And that's how he got by the first down mark. First so they have first Ball and ten here. 46 yard line. They got nothing. On the carry. Norris is there for the tackle. They might not be busting off big game, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on their own 48. Ball on the 48 yard line. Little misdirection. Drop in the backfield for a short loss. You know, Johnny always seems to be in perfect position to make a play. He's all about effort. His motor's always running at 100%, and he's got the experience to diagnose plays very quickly. Third and nine. Ball on the 47 yard line. Keep it in front of him. Watch the snap down. Rick out of the gun. Closing in, going for the deep man. He was pressured as the defense forced the issue. Yeah, and that's something the defensive coordinator mentioned in practice this week. Making the quarterback throw the ball before he's ready to throw it. Number 10 is ready to pump this one away. Shepard is back to receive this kick. From the 16. In my mind, a big advantage to this offensive unit with their running game against a defensive unit that has a tough time stopping the run. Their front seven needs to get more aggressive. First they need to get the jump on those offensive tackles and force them to get their inside foot back so they can take off in the middle. The Browns come out in a 4-3. With the pass... Complete. Houston comes up to make the play at the 29. Great throw to reach the zone. I'll tell you, the defense has to do a better job of coming up and clamping down on the receiver whenever he enters their zone. First, First and 10. Ball on the 29 yard line. Defense, get ready. You gotta have it, deep. Cleveland goes with a four man Let's front. Go, Watch your eyes. Whip, whip, whip. With the carry. Setting up play action. 
Pressure coming. Throws it. Nearly intercepted. Anderson Lewis was his intended pass. target. Lewis Anderson was there on the cover. Receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. Throwing, and he makes the grab. Fletcher and comes up to make the play at the 36-yard line. Shepard with a decent six-yard gain. Third Ball on their own 36. Ball on the 36-yard line. Will, will, will. The Browns come out in a 4-3. With a counter play. Ooh, that one will leave a mark. The run gives them a fresh set of downs. And now what the middle linebacker has to do in these misdirection plays is read the triangle. He has to read the center, the two guards, through to the back. That'll tell him which way the play is going. He didn't do a very good job there. Hey, let's go one deep. Hey, watch that screen. The Browns with a four-man front. Watson, the man in motion. Going to the air on first down. Throwing. The pass ball is incomplete, and good pressure forced him to get rid of the pass early. Any way you look at it, an incomplete pass is a heck of a lot better than throwing it to the other guy. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Here we go. You got to believe it. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Throws on the run. It's batted away. He barely got that one off. Yeah, it wasn't a sack. What it did was make the quarterback adjust his throw, and it messed up his rhythm. Third and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Swain out of the gun. Gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. Warfield was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Jones will come in now to punt it away. Number 80 sets up, waiting for the punt. And he signals for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 14-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. There's a flag going! Deuce, deuce. And off to the tailback. Norris comes up to Morris make the play. The At the 17. Norris the takes advantage of a little daylight. Picks up three yards. Second, Second and seven. seven. Ball on the 17-yard line. Defense get ready. Hold the look. Stay back up. Don't make a play. Give it to the halfback. Jackson is there for the tackle. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and he keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. Is there on the stop at the 24 yard line. John, nothing there on that play. Looks like he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. They better mix up the play call a little more, trying to free up some space in the middle. That back just didn't have any help from his line on that play. Come on! Orange in the backfield. Get it up! Here we go, baby. Hands it off. Little is there for the Morris tackle the at line. the 24. No he likes to run in behind his blockers and then make a cut off their hip for a big game. But that strategy didn't work here. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24 yard line. Let's go, be physical. A lot of speed on the field for the defense as they line up in the quarter. Gets the pass off. 
Incomplete. John, they dropped everyone back in coverage. He just couldn't get it to the open man. But you also got to give a lot of credit to the guys up front. They were outnumbered on the line, and they still put on a good pass rush, forcing him to throw before he wanted to. Number 10 comes into the game for the punt. Shepard back to return. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 39 yard line. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Lewis, the lone back. He hands it off. Fakes the handoff. Throwing. Moore is there for the tackle at the 47-yard line. What a throw. He put everything he had into that one. First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Regular. Set. Watson, the motion man. Fires this one out quickly. And he lets it slip out of his grasp. He put the ball exactly where you want to put it. Two minutes left in the quarter. Ball on the 47 yard line. Only one man back. Gets the toss to the right. Drop in the backfield. Ooh, for a short the ball Good carry. job knifing one in there to bring him down. He brings a lot of things to the table. But the thing I like the most is how prepared he always is. I mean, he can run and he can tackle. And he watches so much tape that Third he actually anticipates what the offense is going to run before they call the play. Not here, not there. From the gun. With the throw. Drops the interception. The Mason had the coverage on the play. Warfield, the intended receiver on the play. Jones is ready to pump this one away. Number 80 lines up deep for the punt return. So they have first and ten here. On the 20 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. On the ten, ten. All right, in the backfield. Throws it. Wall breaks the play up in the backfield. The screen is basically a misdirection play. You get the defense pursuing the quarterback, then he just tosses it over and hopes the receiver can find some running room. Second, Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 17 yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Gets the toss to the left. Kenzie comes up to make the play at the 13. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. Ball on their own 13. Ball on the 13 yard line. Come on! There we go. Here we go. Dropping back. Gets rid of it. Jumps up and comes down with it. Now this is one heck of a play. Look at it. They're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. Pressure, throws it, almost intercepts. Gray had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. Second and ten. 
ball on the 48-yard line. One back. Morris, the lone back. Hand off for the tailback. Carter comes up to make the play at the 42-yard line. So on the blitz, they can't get to the ball carrier until it's too late. And when you're blitzing to stop the run, the idea is bringing more guys and the offense can block. We also got to cut off the lanes and gaps that he can use to escape out of the backfield. That just didn't happen here. Morris, the lone setback. Pass play here on first down with the pass. Number 96, dishes out punishment at the 37-yard line. Good one. Picks up about four yards on that reception. The defense on both sides dominant so far as the first quarter comes to an end. No score. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Ball on the 37-yard line. Ball on the 37-yard line. Do something, do something. One back. Knock him out. Let's go, dude. Right, here we go. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Gray is there on the stop at the 31-yard line. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. Ball on the 31-yard line. Out of the eye formation. Crosses it right. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. When you get penetration like that, it's very hard for the offense to get positive yardage. Second, Second and long. long. Ball on the 32-yard line. Under 10, 10. Set. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Gets rid of it. Nice. Wall comes up to make the play at the 28-yard line. Good one. Makes the catch for a pickup of five on second down. Third down here, and they have to get to the 21-yard line for a new first down. Hand off to the tailback. Carson is there on the stop at the 26. They're in field goal range, so after failing to get the first down, let's see what they decide to do here. Here we go. This will take the lead. The veteran connecting for the field goal. And give credit to the kicker there. It's nice to have a guy that can make your drive worth three, even if you don't get it into the end zone every time. Mark comes in to kick off. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. Let's see if this possession is more effective after their last possession ended in a punt. First and ten. Cleveland lines up in a 4-3. Hand it off. Can't get it from behind. Anderson comes up to make the play at the 30. Lewis pushing his way through the would-be tacklers. He picks up solid yardage. First and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. Here we go, baby! Cleveland goes with a four-man front. Houston is there on the stop at the 37-yard line. I'll tell you, when you're talking about a guy who's a feature back, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. Second and three. Ball on the 37-yard line. Be careful. 
Hey, watch that. Lewis, the lone back, gets the toss to the right. Just going to be spotted at the 44. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Lewis, fighting for yardage that time, he's able to reel off a nice game. First Ball on their own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. Do something, do something. Come on. Regular. With the throw, almost picked off. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let it get away. Second and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. Stay at home. Cleveland goes with a four-man front. With the pass, he hits his receiver. So they're able to pick up another first down. And this offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. Ball on the 46-yard line. Ball on the 46-yard line. Will, Will, Will. Yeah, you see me. Come on. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. Gets rid of it, nearly intercepted. Good timing, getting in between the ball and the receiver to save what would have been a big game. Second and 10, ball on the 46 yard line. Only one man in the backfield. And Brady one moves in motion. Defense, get ready. In this direction. Moore is there for the tackle at the 37-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. Third down play here. They have to get it to the 36. The Browns with a four-man front. Moore makes the stop, and they'll be short of the marker. So they can't get the first, but they might attempt a long field goal. Number 80 sets up to run back the punt. Spins away from attack. It clearly wasn't drawn up like that. They'll take it. Yeah, and he pulled one out of his bag of tricks there. Good call, and that got him a first down. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. What screen? Cleveland using three linebackers. Number 98 comes up to make the play. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Gain of four. Let's go. Bring it up. Bring it up. So they're now inside the 20 and down by three. Mason is there for the tackle at the 13. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. First and 10. Come on. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Anderson comes up to make the play. When he sees something open to the inside, he has to take it. This defense has a lot of those quick linebackers and safety. And that makes it very difficult to run to the outside against him. Ball on the 13-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Hand off to the tailback. Moore is there on the stop. Jones battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Eleven yards to the end zone. We're talking about green. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. Steps up. Can't avoid the rush. He does a good job at timing his blitzes perfectly. When you can blitz your cornerbacks effectively from the outside or from the slot, it could really create confusion in the protection scheme.
Spielman can tie this game up if he can put it through. The, field the attempt is good. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. This one is handled by number eight. They turn their last possession into three points. Let's see what they do with the ball this time around. First Two minute ten. warning coming up. Forrest, the lone back. Goodwin moves in motion. Let's go, baby. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Hand it off. Carson comes up to make the play at the 27 yard line. Barnes running hard, going right through the arm tackles. And we've reached the two minute mark. Ball on the 27 yard line. Let's go, boys! Blue down, blue down. Only one man back. Dropping back. Pressure got to him as he throws. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. Grading pressure can really change the way an offense operates. They need to keep some extra blockers in, either a tight end on the line or a back that can help them out with their protection. Third and three. Ball on the 27 yard line. Here we go. Stay by side. A little misdirection. Stewart makes the stop and they'll be short of the marker. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Number 10 will come in now to punt it away. Shepard looks like he's ready for the return. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 32-yard line. The Ball Steelers on their own 32. The drive at the 32-yard line. First and 10. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Driving back to pass on first down. Closing in. Incomplete. Taking shots like that will really affect his rhythm with his receiver. Second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. What's the hard count? Swain out of the gun. Let's go now. Dropping back. Gets the pass off. And he makes no, he can't haul it in. There's not one wide receiver who can ever claim that he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game. Third and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Here we go. Here we go, baby. Lewis, the lone back. Fakes the throw. Gets rid of it. Little off target, but caught. Jackson. Is there on the stop at the 49-yard line. I like to hurry up here. It's a change of pace, and it's a way to get the defense uncomfortable. Watch man. Dropping back to pass on first down. With the throw. Right on target to the wide receiver. Warfield makes his second catch for a first down on this drive. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. And it keeps the same defense on the field. Swain sends a man in motion. The pass on first down. With the pass, it was tipped. And that's just the kind of play they've come to expect from him. He always seems to make the big play just when they need him to. Shepard was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's go. All right, now. Let's go. 
Cleveland lines up in a 4 3. Closes it out to the left. Fletcher created problems in the backfield on that play. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. There's about one minute left. The Browns come out in a dive package. Gets the pass off, and the catch is made. Stiff arm to the ground. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The extra point attempt is good. So following that touchdown, the score is 10-3. Steelers. Spielman in to kick this one off. Perez back to return. This one is fielded by number 80. He forced a three and out on the offense's last possession. The first and ten. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and ten. Let's go, let's go. The Steelers come out in a nickel package. They'll pass on first down. Fakes the throw. Launching the pass deep down the right side. It's batted away. He threw it a little too soon and it missed the mark. The pass rush almost got to him. I don't think he ever had a chance to set his feet. I'll tell you one thing. This defensive coach sure has his defensive lineman pumped up. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. X! We gotta believe in this all day! Riggs from the shotgun. We're talking about Riggs! They saw man. Left, left! Throwing. He couldn't control it. All he could do is look at his hands and wonder what the heck happened. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Steelers come out in a dime packet. Dropping back. Pressure coming. It's going the other way. The key to the play was pressure. They force a quarterback to get rid of it before he's ready. And when he's rushing his throws out there, bad things are going to happen to this offense. So following the interception, they'll set up shop with excellent field position. Let's turn it up, D. They'll make this a two-possession game if they get it into the end zone on this drive. They're just inside the 20. Throws it. He hits his receiver. They'll spot this one at the six-yard line. That's his third tackle in the contest. That was a good adjustment by the receiver as he reads the man coverage and finds open space. The thing with these option routes is everyone has to make their read quickly and make their adjustments quickly. Running oh, option oh, routes and running them effectively oh, takes a lot of repetition and practice. Swain will work out of the shotgun. Stepping up to the end zone. Trying for the end zone before halftime. Oh, man, he had it in the end zone, but dropped it. That's the second worst thing that can happen to a defender, to drop one like that. The absolute worst thing is to have your man beat you for six. It's second and goal at the six. The Browns come out in a nickel package. The rush is on. Firing a ball into the end zone. You got to take your time and get your receiver a ball that he can make a play. He didn't do it there. Warfield was his intended target. 
It's third and goal at the six-yard line. The Browns come out in a dime package. Under pressure, fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and a touchdown. The extra point attempt is good. That's 17 unanswered points. They just can't seem to stop him. Spielman will be kicking off. Going with the squib kick. So he can't keep the kick in bounds. Kick off. Out of bounds. Number 11. Penalties and takeaways are just as big a factor in some games as effective offense. The team that stays mistake free usually wins the game. First and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. Rig gains the defense from the gun. Long throw. And this should be the last play of the half. The 40 yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. You gotta believe it. It's Dropping back. Pressure. He held on to it too long. Switching to a three-step drop might be a pretty good idea. He has to find a way to get that ball out of there a little more quickly. So after the first two quarters of play, the score is 17-3. Steelers. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. Mark is just about ready to kick this one away. Number 86, back deep to return. That one is out of the end zone. The Steelers will start to drive from the 20-yard line. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. Hey, watch that screen! Come on! Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. Throws it. The wide receiver has it. Number 98 comes up to make the play. At the 35-yard line. They get first down yardage on that hookup. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35-yard line. Lewis, the lone back. Looking upfield, closing in, gets the pass off, and he hits his target. They get another first down here. Well, they're not doing anything fancy. A good old-fashioned drop back and pass, and it's working. First and ten, ball on the 45-yard line. Here we go. Let's turn it up, D. Watson, the motion man. Get me going. Going to the air on first down. Pressure coming. The veteran slips in there and gets the sack. Hey, you still got to give him a lot of respect. His moves haven't diminished that much, and he still makes impact plays. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. The Browns with a four-man front. Keep the throttle down. 
little misdirection. It's free. The Browns pick up the fumble. Very unusual, John, because he just doesn't fumble very often. Yeah, but fumbles are part of the game, and they happen to the best of them. This might be a good challenge by the coach. The call on the field is questionable. They're going to review it, and this one might get reversed. So what we're looking for here is whether one of his knees hit the ground before the ball came out. And sometimes it's hard for the official because there can be a whole bunch of bodies around the ball carrier, and he can't get a good enough view to overturn it. The player was down before the fumble occurred. So the coach looks a lot smarter after getting the play reversed in his team's favor. It didn't hurt that the official had some great replays to look at. And they made it easy to overrule. And they'll face a long third down here. Hey, watch the screen. The Browns come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. It's rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Pittsburgh comes up short on third down again. The final will have his third chance coming up here. From the 22. Now you start to look around and you figure who are the go-to guys? The guys who can respond and get this game close again. The Browns will start the drive at the 26-yard line. First and 10. The backs are lined up in an eye. Riggs with a man in motion. With a counter play. Carson comes up to make the play at the 27. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. It's second down and nine to go. On the 27 yard line. Come on. Hey, let's go. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. Let's go, let's go. How we go, baby? Rock and roll. Hands it off. Carter is there on the stop at the 36. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. But blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Third and maybe one. They'll go from the I formation. Hands it off to the back. Nice play fake. Long throw. Good defense and three and out series are the way to keep your defense fresh and rested. Shepard into return. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 25 yard line. The Ball on their own 25. The drive at the 25 yard line. First and 10. Hey, watch that screen! Lewis, the lone back. I'm coming through, baby. We give it to the halfback. Dropped in the backfield. He's really not gotten it going on the ground today. Second and long coming up here. On the 22-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Hey, let's go one deep. Only one man in the backfield. Keep it off to the back. Fletcher brings him down at the 24. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays.
Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. Nothing deep. Watch this. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. They don't get nothing. Hey, here we go. Play hard and fast, baby. Under pressure, looking for the deep pass down the right side. Right on target to the wide receiver. He makes another catch to put him over 100 yards in receptions today. First and 10. Ball on the 26 yard line. Hey, watch the screen. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. Cleveland lines up in a 4-3. Let's go, boys! Go. Go Throwing. Drops the interception. Shepard was the intended receiver on that play. The intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Let's go now. Yeah, go! Cleveland goes with a four-man front, throws it. Jackson is there on the stop at the 10. Shepard pulls in the pass for a first down. He's picked up both first downs on this series. They need 10 for the touchdown. They've got it into the end zone on their last red zone drive. And off to the field back. They're going to spot this one at the nine. He stopped him there, and according to our numbers, that's tackle number six for him. It's second and goal at the nine-yard line. Let's go, D, let's go. Keep moving. Cleveland using three linebackers. Bruce comes up to make the play at the six. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. Third six goal. more yards and they'll put up six. Nice job so far on third down for the offense and we'll see if that continues here. Pumps once, goes to the end zone. This one falls incomplete. When you see an overthrow like that, a lot of time it has something to do with the mechanics. Maybe it's how he set his feet. Maybe it's where he released the ball. One way or another, he has to take a little more time and get the ball to a spot where someone can make the play on it. This will be a chip shot. Veteran kicks it through. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get them a TD. Spielman comes in to kick off. This one is taken by number 80. On their last drive, it was three plays and out, and now the offense comes out onto the field once again. It's first and ten. First and ten. Morris is the deep back. For the counterplay. Carson comes up to make the play at the 26-yard line. Morris gets the handoff on the misdirection play and picks up six yards. Second and four. Ball on the 26-yard line. Back it up, baby. The Steelers with a four-man front. Throws it, and he makes the grab. Can't get it from behind. Excellent recognition by the receiver. Weeding the coverage and adjusting his route accordingly. Option routes are receiving routes designed to take advantage of the coverage. It's up to both the receiver and the quarterback 
to make the same read. First and ten. Receiver reads zone, but the quarterback reads man. You can see passes going right to defender. Good one. In motion. Jimmy going. Rush in. Hand off to the tailback. Great move to get free. Number 96 is there on the stop at the 39 yard line. Morris busted through for a few tough yards. It's second down and six to go. All on the 39 yard line. Dropping back with the throw. The defense was coming after him on that play. He knew he didn't have much time, and he decided to get rid of the ball quickly on that one. Third and six. Ball on the 39-yard line. All on us, y'all. There we go, D. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. And he is bumped out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Number 80 comes up with the big catch on third down. He made a great move right at the line of scrimmage to give him that little bit of separation he needed. First so they have first and 10 here. on the 48-yard line. Not today. Set. Knock him out. Do something. Do something. Watch out. Hey, watch the counter. Hand it off to the back. Stewart is there for the tackle at the 46-yard line. Nowhere to go that time. The defensive line gets very good penetration. This line's very aggressive up front. They like to stunt and use power moves to get into the backfield. A lot of teams think that the best way to move the ball on the ground against them is to run it right at them. Try and wear them out. Looks like they might be trying to do that same kind of thing. Rowing. Wide receiver has it. Carter comes up to make the play the at the 32. On the powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. First and, and this 10. is the eighth play Ball of this drive. On the 32-yard line. Yeah, you see me. Nothing. They don't get the out. Steelers with they a four-man front. They give it to the halfback. Stewart is there on the stop at the 27-yard line. Number 45 picks up some tough yards there. And this is the ninth play of this drive. Ball on the 27-yard line. Over swing right. Blue down, blue down. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. They soft, man. With the pass. Norris makes the tackle at the 20 yard line. At the end of three, the score is 20 to three. The Steelers. 20, the Browns, three. And we'll start the fourth quarter. This is the 10th play of this drive. They're inside the 20. Here we go, baby. Key series here as they're in the red zone trying to stay in the game. Hand it off. Can't pull him down. Little is there for the tackle at the 14-yard line. Morris kept his legs moving. Gets seven hard-earned yards. And this is the 11th play of this drive. Down inside the 15. The Steelers come out in a fourth grade. Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. Big tackle there for loss and great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare, and it really pays off when you make stops like that. And this is the 12th play of this drive. They're inside the 15. Let's go. Danny, Danny, Danny. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. He was tipped. Good call by the defense as they sent the corner on a blitz. He just had too much pressure in his face to see anything, and he threw one out there. Lucky for him, it wasn't picked off. From the start, from the start. Hey, watch the screen. Play hard as that. This is a situation where they just it's have to go good. for it. Dropping back. Floats one into the end zone. Almost in a second. Down by this much here in the fourth, they had no choice but to go for it. Well, they're at the point of the game where they have to try something. 
Heck, next time maybe you try something else, but you can understand why they want to go for it here. First and ten. Ball on the 15 yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Lewis, the lone back. Tucks it away. Fakes the handoff. Throwing. It's batted away. Warfield ran the short pattern, but couldn't pull it in. Larson with the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the 15 yard line. Only one man back. Moving left. Runs through the tackle. The back breaks free. The 30. The 40. A solid tackle in the open field by Mason. Some of these guys are like a train. They lower their head, keep their legs moving, and charge the straight ahead. Sometimes he'll even drag a defender 10 yards before he'll start slowing down. Ball on the 47 yard line. Ball on the 47 yard line. They ain't got nothing. All on us, y'all. Jones, the lone back. Keep moving. Hands Keep moving. it off. Nice play for him. He gets there and pulls him down from behind. Boom! And where'd that truck come from? Second Following the sack, it's second and long. Ball on the 50-yard line. Hey, here we go. Hey, watch that. Thing. Only one man in the backfield. Crosses it right. Now that's a stiff arm, and he goes out at the 39-yard line. This is a great block. Watch here. He just barrels into the defender, taking him right off the turf. Now that is a textbook block right there. Give up nothing. Ain't no thing. Get it up. We're talking about real. Hot. Stay inside right here. Stay inside. Passing here on third and short. Throws it on target, but he goes down to make the catch. This is good communication between the quarterback and his receiver to keep the chains moving. They know where the first down marker is, and they recognize the type of coverage the defense is playing. The ball is there, and so is the catch. Looking for room, setting up play action, gets the pass off, picked off. Number 98 is getting up very slowly. It looks like he'll head toward the sideline and we'll get you an injury report as quickly as possible. First the offense ten. gets ready to go Ball following the interception. Yard line. Back it up, baby. Let's run, man. Set All right, the lone set. setback. Huh? Huh? Let us dictate. Huh? Boy, the counterplay. Kenzie comes up to make Moral the play the run, at the 30. Play calling is very surprising considering the size of the deficit. This is not a good time to sneak in a running play. They need lots of yards real fast. Second and nine. Ball on the 30-yard line. Danny, Danny, Danny. Let's go. The defense lines up in the nickel. Pressure. A great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down. He picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. They're looking now at third and long after the sack. You can't stop me. From the gun, Riggs with a man in motion. I can do it, buddy. Drops back. Close again. Hit and set. John, the offensive line just can't stop that rush. That's one of the last things you want as an offense. It kills momentum when you keep moving backward. Number 10 comes into the game for the punt. Shepard is the deep return man. 
He's waving for the fair catch. And they're ready to go on offense Ball after on that fumble. They'll start yard. at the 45. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Gets the call. Flips the tackle. They're going to spot this one at the 46-yard line. And so that makes tackle number six. It's second down and one to go. Only one man back. To carry it. Pushes off. Snow is there on the stop. At the 38, they blitz and it backfire. Yeah, that's a chance you take. You're hoping to get some penetration and hit him in the backfield. But if you miss, there isn't a lot of help at the next level to keep him from picking up the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Here we go. Stay at home. The Browns come out in a nickel back. And he's brought down Jones at the 37-yard line. He's in on that stop. He's run into a tackle one. number six. Second Ball on the 37-yard line. Ball on the 37-yard line. Will, Will, Will. Keep moving. Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. With the pass. Almost picked off. In Warfield was his intended Warfield. target. The Mason was there on the cover. The Third and nine. The injury Ball sustained earlier, torn biceps, so he will, of course, remain sidelined for at least the rest of this one. With a counter play. Going to spot this one at the 22. He got in there and made the tackle his fourth of the game. When you talk about taking your man out of the play, this is what you're talking about. You know, this is a kind of block that guys dream about. I mean, he just unloads on that guy. Cleveland goes with a four man front. Let's go now. One of us going to make a play. Hold the line. On the ground. Fletcher with the tackle at the 12-yard line. Lewis has had a great game so far, now has over 100 yards rushing. So they have 12 yards to go for a touchdown. Keep the throttle down. Only one man in the backfield to carry it. Fletcher is there for the tackle at the 13. When you run a play to the outside, at least one offensive lineman is pulling, and a wide receiver has to block down. On that one, neither one did their job very well. Ball on the 13-yard line. Eighth play of this drive. Two minutes left. Get it up. Cleveland down, comes out with seven in the secondary. He tucks it away. Avery comes up to make the play at the 12. Nothing doing on that running play, so they'll probably send in the kicker. I think so. When you've got the lead, you don't have to try anything fancy. You just tack on the three and put the game in your defense's hands. Heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. The kick sails through. It's good. The Steelers have made this a three-possession game with under two minutes to play. They just kept coming at him. They were determined not to let this one go down to the final play of the game. That's good coaching and a good job by the players.
Pittsburgh is lined up for the kickoff. Perez back deep. And he got all of that one. A great kick. This one is handled by number 80. The Browns face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 20 yard line. Ball on their own 20. The drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Keep it up. Riggs from the shotgun. Number 80 in motion. Play football. We turn it up. Gets the pass off. Carson comes up to make the play. At the 46. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. One back. Here we come. Let's go. The show time. They'll bring the blitz. Pressure coming. Growing. And it's caught. Card is there for the tackle. The quarterback is calling them back to the line of scrimmage. We like to pack the rules. Here we go. The rush is on. Gets rid of it. The 20. The 10. Touchdown, Brown. The receiver ran a perfect route, and he turned around just in time to see the ball and make the catch. Martin comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. The Browns have just made it a two-score game. This team can put up some points, but this might be a little too deep a hole. And they'll try the onside kick here because they don't have much of a choice. They have to get the ball back. Onside kick. So he can't keep the kick in bounds. Kick off. Out of bounds. Number four. Penalties and takeaways can really kill a team. Usually the team with the fewest mistakes out there will win the game. First ball on their own 49. Ball on 49-yard line. The Browns with a four-man front. Swain sends a man in motion. On the carry. Play action with the throw. And it's caught. Mason stops him. The pass was fired in there so hard, I think he left smoke in the ball. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. No need for anything else but taking a knee here to finish this one out. And there's the kneel down by the quarterback. Second and 12. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Browns come out in a 4-3. They soft, man. Check it. Hut. Regular. Hut. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Hut. Watch screen. Hut. 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 Let's go. Hut. 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 Let's go. Hut. 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 Gets the pass Hut. off. And it's complete. They're going to spot this one at the 30-yard line. So he adds another tackle and now has six. He's grabbing anything that comes his way. Come on! Run, Hey, let's go one deep. Let's go, D. Let's go. Play football. Set. Hey, let's go. He'll take him in.
Westfield will come in looking to try the field goal. This game reaches its conclusion with the final score, Pittsburgh 23, Cleveland 10. For EA Sports, this is Al Michaels and John Madden wishing you a very pleasant good evening.